Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we're excited to introduce you to our new B360 and B360 Pro rugged laptops. I'm joined with our expert Alan Wu today and uh, Alan's going to share what's new and exciting about these laptops. Welcome Alan. Thanks Stephen. Both these models are equipped with the uh, new Intel Gen 12 um, processors uh, with integrated Iris XE graphics. Wireless broadband has been uh, upgraded with Wi-Fi 6E, uh, so it's now complemented with B360's series 5G sub-6 cellular capability. So what about the rugged features? Can you tell us about them? Well, no worries, uh, both models are certified with MIR standard A10H and IP66, so it could sustain um, even six feet drop with operating mode. So uh, it's built for a uh, full outdoor uh, work day in almost any weather conditions, rain, snow, dust, hits, and even direct sunlight. Bright sunlight? Sure. So you can read what's on the screen under the sun? Yes, under sunlight is where uh, B360 really shines, uh, both literally and uh, uh, figuratively. The 30.3 inches display delivers up to 1400 needs of brightness. Uh, it's one of the brightest lit up in the markets, uh, which makes the screen very easy to view even you are on uh, outside. Uh, could you talk a little bit about who the B360 is for and who the B360 Pro is for? For B360, um, as you can see, it's lighter and smaller. I think for B360, it's mainly for public safety and the other uh, industry as well. So for public safety, um, especially on police patrol, you can see there is a barcode reader embedded. On the right hand side, it's a plus a feature for uh, police patrol when they don't have to use external uh, buckle reader scanner which is saving more space for um, their in-car scenario and then as you can see there is a um, fingerprint reader right here and um, the same location could also uh, be optional RFID uh, reader and there is a smart car reader on the left hand side so this makes it a multi-factor authentication for public safety, okay? And B360 Pro, as you can see, uh, there's a different layer at the bottom of the device. It's more upgraded in terms of battery, storage, even the graphic computing. Um, you can see there is a um, discrete graphic controller that we embedded in the device, so um, it could handle complex tasks. So actually, there are a lot of security features here, and I think that's very important for public safety. What about other industries? How does security play in there? Well, um, I think not just about the RFID uh, fingerprint reader. Uh, as you can see from uh, the front webcam, it could be Windows Hello camera, and we also have um, the other security design like um, um, removable SSD uh, which could for users if they want to repair their devices they could keep their own drive without passing to the uh, service or repair center. You mentioned uh, the discrete graphics and the complex tasks. Uh, can you give me some examples of um, some use cases that people would be using? Uh, for example, like um, mining or uh, military, they, they would like to know more graphic simulation or real-time computing in terms of difficult mapping. Um, they could use it. I forgot to mention about this. It's a high-capacity battery. It's, it's at the bottom and um, it's hot swappable battery at Media Bay. It could beef up the battery life for their uh, applications. Thank you for watching everyone. Feel free to leave us any comments you have about the B360 and the B360 Pro in the comments below.